guys welcome back to my channel key does it all if you are new here i am key thank you for tuning in with me today and if you are oldie but a goodie thank you for returning <laughs> in today's vlog i'm just going to be doing a little bit of chatting and i'm going to show you guys a few things like i did a a very little summer haul i started picking up some stuff for my children and i'm going to show you what's in my diaper bag for my newborn and my toddler and i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a update on what happened at my six week appointment which is long overdue like i've been supposed to tell you guys this and where i'm going forward so stay tuned and enjoy this video first things first we're gonna get the chatty part out the way for the most part i have been trying to nail this video down for you guys for a very long time forgive me if i don't remember all the things but for the most part it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward we know that after you have your baby there is a six week postpartum checkup that you go and you get checked out and you make sure everything is okay and you know everything's intact and healing well and all of that stuff right in that checkup everything went well everything was perfect i'm healing good and we named our options for birth controls and um i ended up taking the pill and i take it every day at six o'clock in the morning it's the estrogen only pill that is my contraceptive for right now and i say right now because i plan to breastfeed joseph for a year like i did for jackson then i plan to switch over to the other pill where it has both hormones in it i think or hormones period i think i always get that mixed up but the one that i'll take like four three weeks of a green pill and then on the week that i'm supposed to get my psycho i get like the brown pill or something like that so that's how my pills were before um i was breastfeeding now with this uh pill the estrogen only pill i am trying my best to do all preventative measures of not having a baby so i guess that answers your questions if you have any questions kiara you have any more children and my answer is no <laughs> i think joseph is the last one um i'm not planning on trying for any more it's just i can't have any girls so i'm just gonna stick with what i have and be grateful these five children are enough for me and my husband and we are happy with what we have and yeah so that answered that question i am not now if the good lord decides to bless us in between this birth control and i end up pregnant again i will accept this baby i will accept that baby this baby no <laughs> i will accept that baby with love like i do with all my other children and be grateful and be happy for whatever it is whether boy or girl i'll just be happy with what i have so as of right now and as of going forward on things that i can control for the most part no but back to like i was saying and joseph is right here eating but you might hear him talking a little bit during this uh, video too. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But back to the birth control. With this pill, it's estrogen only, like I said. And it is giving me a cycle every seven days. Y'all, I am losing it. <laughs> like, I just can't take it. Like, it's just too much for me like too much and i don't know why it's happening for me like this but this is what's happening like every seven days like like there's no break like i get a week off and then i get a week on literally that's how it is i hate it i hate it i hate it i hate it and i'm trying my best to stick with what i have and not change anything because i really don't want any more children and this is the best way to prevent that but we just have to figure this out there are other birth controls that i can try that i'm just not really into you know my husband and i talked about them and we talked them over and we're still having conversation about it and all of that and i'm just like we have to figure this out because I don't like this. And then it's not like it's a, I know TMI, but I'm telling you guys everything, you know. Um, it's not like it's like a 
a mild flow. Like it's like a, a heavy flow every two weeks and it's just tripping me out. And I just, you know, I can deal with it once a month and I know this is what the woman's body goes through, but I just can't take it. And even with me breastfeeding, like a lot of people told me that, and even some doctors told me like with breastfeeding, that, that is a birth control itself because breast, breastfeeding keep you from ovulating. And that's not true. <laughs> that's not true. It's definitely not true in my case because that's how I got pregnant with Joseph. I definitely was breastfeeding Jackson. I was on the birth control. Was I? I don't know, I get my kids, I mesh them all together, but I'm not sure if I was on birth control or not for Joseph. I don't know, I have to go back and look at the videos and see what happened, but I can't really remember. But I know that I was definitely breastfeeding Jackson, like full blown, exclusively breastfeeding, like no pumping, just breast I was giving to Jackson and I ended up getting pregnant with Joseph. I still was getting a period. So whether if I was on the pill or not, like I was still ovulating and getting a period even while breastfeeding. I don't know, it's just, it's just what it is. And um, I just, I'm just rolling with the punches and there's not many things that I can do right now to change that. But that's just my stance for, um, the birth control right now. We have been talking about more permanent decisions um, and we're still up in the air with those decisions because we still are so very young. We're in our 30s and we don't really want to make permanent decisions as of yet. I'm not really trying to have any more children after 35. So, and I'm pretty close to 35, so we have to figure it out. I want to be able to have my time to be able to enjoy my husband and travel with my husband without having to worry about, you know, little, little babies. We just haven't decided on any of that just yet. But we do know right now, as of now, as of today, as of the rest of this year going forward, that we do not want any more children for the time being. So that's that on having more children aspect, but in the birth control. And that's really it on my appointment. It wasn't much that um, needed to be talked about. Now y'all, through this whole postpartum thing, it's been tough, you know, from the breastfeeding to the weight that I'm not losing. I feel like I'm gaining weight. And then with this whole move thing that just happened to be sprung up on me, you know, um, I've been under a lot of stress. I know I smile a lot and this is me genuinely. Like I'm not just smiling for the camera. I do smile my way through a lot of things. And, you know, I try to find joy in um, my situations because, you know, there are people who have just have it way worse than what you have and so I just trying to find joy in everything and I'm grateful for life and that I'm breathing my children my family like my husband everybody who's close to me I'm grateful for them so I just try to dwell on those things and not like let the ways of adulting and life period just get me and bring me down so I'm really really this positive <laughs> i give off these positive vibes in real life but no in all seriousness i have been stressed completely the heck out like stressed beyond like so you saw that when i was washing my hair last week i've noticed that um while i was washing it clumps of my hair just started coming out and which is why i am back into wearing my wigs, I was wearing my hair out and not wear my wigs, period, because I just like wearing them. But I was trying to, you know, let my hair breathe and do more of my natural hair styling. And then the summertime, I feel like it's just perfect for natural hair because you can just do so many styles with it. And I just wanted to, you know, get back to wearing my twist and then I can style my twist up in different styles. But we know that I couldn't get my twist done last week because my mom had to go see my cousin off. And so I just put my hair in the two braids, 
but when I washed it and while I was washing it it was just coming out it was just really really coming out so I am experiencing postpartum hair loss now this pregnancy with Joseph this pregnancy uh, after him the healing process the everything has been so different it literally has been like a significant difference with him than it has with any of my other children like he really really brought me through the ringer like he really did and this time around my hair just decided that it's just gonna come out so i am going to be doing a treatment in my hair to kind of restore it from the breakage because it broke off so much like i'll show you guys a picture up here somewhere of the treatment and of how much hair that how much hair came out my head while i was washing it and you guys gonna be like wow like so much hair came out um i'm not bald but i do know that i had i um, have some short spots now because of the breakage so yeah we're just gonna have to put my hair away in protective hairstyling, doing my treatments. Like I consider a wig a protective hairstyle for me because I don't have to do anything to it. I can treat my hair, braid it down, and then put something, put a wig over it and go. I did recently purchase a wig and it came in the mail today. And I wanna show you guys that. And I have so many other things to show you guys too. So yeah, now that Joseph is down, I am going to put him down and I'm going to try to show you guys what I got without him screaming. So I'll be right back. Let me do that. So it was a success. I got him on the bobby right here next to me. So I'm going to just start with the wig. And I ordered this from Love Me. And by the way, this is not sponsored at all. <laughs> um, it's just something that I like to purchase and I wear. And this is where I got this one from. Um, I wore this down a while back in one of my videos where I was um, doing my daughter's room over. I gave her like a little room makeover. And this is the same wig that I had on then. I just had it down. So it's really like deep body wave. And I, it is 22 inches long. So yeah, let's get this open. And I did want to mention like, I love this wig because for simple things like this, I put it up in a ponytail, I could wear it down, I could wet it. It's perfect beach hair. Like it gets really poofy. It really does. So, this is the new wig that came in this box. And you just take this off. And in the box, it comes like this. So, this is the wig. And then it comes with this. I'm not sure what this is. But I got this. This is a $5 gift card. It gives you a wig cap um we're gonna see what that is i don't know what that is and it has a little bag in it like this Ooh. and it came with this to get your baby heels right to lay your baby heels right see that and i got a pair of sterling sterile earrings and then i got the headband thing to kind of lay it down you know for those who do the wigs you ladies who do the wigs when you have to do they i think they call it the bald cap and then you gotta lay your baby hairs down you gotta cut it and then you gotta lay your baby hairs down i know nothing about what i'm talking about i just watch a whole bunch of youtube videos and think i know but i don't know how to do that stuff <laughs> that's why i buy wigs i can just put them on and then take off I don't know what this is, but let's see. Oh, okay. It is a mirror. A little mirror, see? 
Okay. So you put this in your purse and you like, check your lips out, your eyes, your eyelashes. Oh, this is cute. They never disappoint with the little goodies that they give you. I know, I know someone who uh, recently purchased a wig from them too, and they gave them like eyelashes. Somebody else before got like a flat iron and all that stuff. They never disappoint you. So you always get goodies in your uh, box, no matter how much you spend. And like I told you, I got the five dollar gift card. So we're gonna do that. So now let's take this out now. So. Which, I forgot which one I got here. Let's see if it says it up here. No, it just said how to care for your rig. I got a five by five glueless lace wig. Think. And I think this is 12 inches. So this is it. This is the wig and it's loose body wave. It feels so good, y'all. It feels so good. And look at that lace. I mean, I know it's probably not as good as the HD lace, but I'm rolling. And I guess what I have to do is I have to put a little stuff in here. If y'all know how to do these wigs, comment down below and let me know what to do. Cause I don't, I'm just trying something different. It said it's glueless. So all I have to do is cut the lace, but I still be seeing doing people do like baby ears and all that stuff. I don't know how to do that. I'm probably gonna have somebody fix this wig up for me and I'm gonna um and put it on me so then that way it's already cut with the baby here's all I gotta do is lay it down however you do that but yeah I'll probably insert a picture of what it looks like or a little clip of what it looks like with the you know the lace is still gonna be on but what I look like in it so that's the wig I'm gonna like this guys next I'm going to show you guys what I purchased for my kids for a little bit of their summer clothes I haven't done a big summer haul but children's place had a sale and I love the children's place and they had a sale on some things and it was like really really cheap so I um, decided to purchase something now y'all let me tell y'all buying for five kids is like crazy <laughs> the prices are totally different now you can always find something in bargain shop and all that stuff and i do i do i just don't pick up the first thing i see all the time um i like to you know get a lot for my monies so Children places are one place that you can't do that. And I enjoy it because they always have a sale, no matter what it is, it's always a sale in there. You get rewards, you get points, you get dollars, like their little cash things. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. So let me just show you guys what I got for all five of my babies. And so you guys know my older boys, um, John and Jaden, I have to buy their clothes very, very similar. Like I have to buy clothes for them like they're twins because they believe that they're twins because they're that close in age. And I know I'm gonna have to do the same thing once uh, Jackson and Joseph get older because they're close in age as well. So I'm used to it. So I, I know what to do. <laughs> but, so I bought these camo shorts and I'm actually gonna take them off the bag as we go through them because I have to pack their stuff up anyway. And I brought these camo shorts and I want to say everything was about 50% off, I believe, 50% uh, off of everything. So these were only $10 because they're regular um, prices, $19.95. So um, these are $10 and I brought a pair for Jaden and then I brought a pair for John, which is my oldest. He has a pair. 
and then I brought some shorts for, I'll just do all the shorts first. I brought some shorts for Jackson and his is pretty much the same just in um, 2T. I brought those. They're, they are the same shorts. Let me just open them because I didn't open the last one. So they are the same shorts. I just got a green and then gray for the older boys. And then, well, I could do baby Joseph last because his stuff is pretty easy. And then I got my daughter, I got her these tie-dye shorts. She's into this tie-dye stuff, so, and they're so cute. I got these tie-dye shorts for her. Now, one of her shirts, her stuff is already open because she wanted to wear something to school today. So, I just let her wear whatever, pick her outfits out. And this is the shirt that I bought to go with these. So, this and this is going to go together. And then I brought her a white cami to go with this these shorts sorry they glare from the window and she wore her cami to school today so that's her stuff and then this is for Jaden I love their clothes like I love their clothes and I'm a big online shopper I like going into the store but I like going online most because you get stuff that you see um, online, you don't see in the store. So, yeah. No, this is not Jaden's shirt. This is John's shirt. As he came to me, he said, and we call him Pootie. He came up to me, he said, Mommy, I need the shirt with my arms out. Like, I want a shirt like this so I can have my arms out. I said, what you want? I call his muscles, his guns. I said, what you want your guns out for? He's like, Mommy, I just got to show them. They got to breathe. <laughs> so, I got my man's. A shirt with his guns out okay <laughs> of course when you get one shirt you gotta get the other but i got Jaden a monster truck one and they didn't see this stuff yet so they're gonna love it and then for jackson he had a two-pack Cause y'all, it's gonna be a hot summer cause it's already hot. Like today is like pretty much like 90 degrees today. But this is Jackson's shirt. He got this one. Okay, Jojo. And then he has this shirt. So he can wear whatever with a pair of shorts. This is what I bought for little Joseph. You see his little camel? up there yeah, we gotta wash these clothes they smell funny they smell i don't like the way they smell but yeah so i brought this one and he also had like a two-pack thing and we got this so it's like a little t-shirt romper very thin because we're gonna need it for the summer like i said it's already hot y'all so that is all that i bought from the children's place i did order them sandals for target because target had a sale on sandals and it i think it ends today i'm not sure it was a bogo so you buy one and then you get one half off so i brought these sandals right so this is a uh, Jaden sandal and this is John sandal and I brought Jackson the same kind of sandal like Jaden's but in camouflage and I brought Zoe the same kind but hers is pink both sandals were inexpensive they were already ten dollars so I really paid fifteen dollars for two pairs of shoes when I see them sales and then I had some rewards too. see them rewards and themselves combined together you save you a lot of money. Y'all gonna get up on this stuff if y'all not already. Now, I had someone ask me, what do you have, what do you put in your diaper bag or what do you carry or how do you carry for two kids and yourself at the same time? And these are all legitimate questions because I am known for a big purse 
person. Like I love big pocketbooks, but I do have like this little red little crate in my um, car and I put in diapers, wipes, pamper, I mean, diapers is the same thing as pampers, hand sanitizer, paper towel, you know, um, all purpose cleaner, uh, fab not fabric softener, um, car deodorizer it's just a whole bunch of stuff that i just throw in the car that i know because everywhere i go i'm gonna have my car and if i have my children and they're with me i always have that with me so i always refill it with like pampers and all that stuff in there so i really don't have to carry a bag let me show you how i pack this bag and what's in this bag for jackson and joseph okay so you guys know that i absolutely love the fawn design book bag and if you haven't seen my unboxing of this bag then you should go check it out and tell me what you think about it i do use everything in the bag and stuff for one thing so we are just going to start in the back of the bag and in the back of the bag i have the changing mat and it opens up and it's big like this on the sides i have my son's phone that's Jaden's phone and then on this side, I have my other son's phone, John, that's his phone. Besides, I have the, you know, the clip thingies, you know, you can clip onto the stroller. Now, I was a little skeptical about these, to be honest, because I didn't know if the Velcro would hold, because I do pack a pretty heavy bag, and let me tell you, it works. So I have my little hand sanitizer, and then I have the pacifier holder, which came in the bundle too. And I put Joseph's pacifier in there. Right here, like the front inside pocket, I keep my phone in that pocket. I got my little wallet right here that I could just throw inside of this part. We're going to the inside. I keep a pack of wipes. Um, I usually keep about five to six diapers. I usually keep like a one or two diapers, size four for Jackson. I keep this in here, which is the Little Remedies um, sterile saline mist. And I keep that in there because lately they've been having like this little, but not they, Joseph. He got this little dry booger things going on in his nose and I like to keep him clean from that. I always keep a onesie and it's been hot. So this all I've been having in here. I keep a couple onesies, so this is another one. I have a receiving blanket and I have my nursing cover and then I have a burp cloth. Now Jackson, has his bag, like I told y'all, I keep my stuff in the car. Jackson has his bag in the car, already packed with pampers and wipes, and the outfit just in case he messes up his stuff. I have some socks. I have this little teething thingy for Joseph. More hand sanitizer. You got his little comb. I have a mirror. I eat these, so this is like a little snack for me. Nail clipper, some mascara, like some little blessed oil. I have some lotion for my hands because my hands been very, very dry. Extra hair tie, nursing um, pads. Now in this pouch, I keep, so I keep the squeezy thingy because it's for his nose. Cause I haven't brought the Frida suction thing and he usually don't get that snotty. But if he does, I can always just go and buy it. My gas medicine for babies. Y'all, I done converted. I don't even use a and ointment anymore. And I swear by a and ointment. But this stuff, butt paste, oh my gosh. I don't know what took me so long to get into this. Comb and a brush. So these are some pacifiers that I did sterilize. I just had them in this baggie. Some Vaseline, a little too for a little ashy, ashy or the lips. These are the tubes to be able, these are the syringes for the medicines. Yeah, I know about this because I told y'all about this because if you know, you know, right? And then I got this thermometer. Then I always got to have this for my older kids. I have some baby wash, infant Tylenol. I just bought this little bottle from Walmart and then I just put some lotion in it, some of his baby lotion. That is all that was in there.